What should I get for Adrian this year? This time, I will make sure to sign the card. Girl, you'll be alright. I know what I'm getting for Nino. Girl, you should just invite him to a buffet. The best way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Hmm, maybe I'll invite Nathaniel over for dinner. I do have the best chefs in Paris. Uh, just try not to cook for him, Chloe, and make sure your hair is absolute perfection. Hmm, I wonder what I should get for Marinette. A brand new sketchbook with her name embellished in gold? Kid, keep it simple. I'm just giving good old Cheese the Tiki my admiration and love for her. Marinette. Here's a promise ring. I promise to always protect you, my lady. Somehow I'm still not used to knowing that you're Cat Noir, Kitty. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, Adrian. Happy Valentine's Day, Marinette. And here, Tiki, the oldest camembert bear there is. It's over 1,000 years old. <laughs> here you go, Nino. A brand new DJing equipment from the latest models. Whoa, cool. And Amalia, um, happy Valentine's Day. This is a mixtape from all our favorite music. Aw, Nino. Where is my honeybee hair cream? Uh, nope. Nope. I don't know what that is or what it looks like. Nope, sure don't. Did you use it up again? Uh, please me maintaining my many centuries of beauty takes effort to be beautiful. Uh-oh. I knew it was you all along. Come back here! You'll never catch me! Madame Bourgeois, Monsieur Kersberg has arrived. Oh, <laughs> uh, of course. I'll be right out. Would you, my lady? No. My princess. Be my valentine. Your bluebell eyes shimmer like the clear vast sky. Your courage and kindness has no bounds. Will you make me the happiest, luckiest kitty in the whole world and be mine? And only mine. c cat Noir! I don't know what to say. I... I love Adrian. Well, today's your lucky day because... I am Adrian! <gasps> no freaking way! My guy I love is a flirty, overbearing, annoying cat! Yep, and you're stuck with me, baby. That bourgeois brat. What you did to my hair is unforgivable. I will have my revenge. Thanks, Nathaniel, for walking me home. No problem, Chloe. Um, would you like to hang out again sometime? Sh sure Oh, I better get going. Otherwise, Daddy will blow the roof. <sighs> See you at school tomorrow. Y yeah. See you tomorrow, Chloe. Oh, Nathaniel! I didn't know you were in this area. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, it's so dark and cold and scary. So, uh, do you mind walking me back? Um, sure. You just transferred to our school, right? Oh, you have such a good memory. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch your back, Chloe. You just messed with the wrong Italian. Th thanks for saving me, you two. Oh, not a problem, my lady. Oh, watch where you're going next time, Marinette. Do you know how many citizens jaywalk the streets of Paris? And good gosh, who knows what will happen to you? Quit drawing on your little sketch pad and pay attention to your surroundings. You sound like a worried mothered hen. Sorry about that, Marinette. The new girl can be a bit blunt, but her heart is coming from the right place. Uh, how did you know my name? None of your business. Oh, great, I've been hanging around Cat Noir too long. Nap. Oh, great. My hair is getting all frizzed up because of this humid weather. Oh, why can't superheroes have a day off and have citizens be more mindful? And you, Cat Noir, quit flirting with every damsel in distress. You're like the king of flirts. What can I say, Lady B? We are simply the best 
Finally, someone gets my sense of humor. They don't flirt with every damsel in distress. It's called being a gentleman. Do you know how chivalry is dying out? I'm just holding a man's honor and treating a lady properly. You have no shame whatsoever. Wow, guess you two are close. <laughs> uh... What happened to Ladybug? Seems like Kitty has a new favorite lady. <sighs> Forget it. Bye. Uh... <laughs> are you jealous? Uh, uh, what? <laughs> Don't worry. You're always going to be my priority, Ladybug. Uh, uh, how the heck did you know? Uh, he knows! So, how did the date go? Uh, it was okay. I mean, the guy seemed so really nervous around me, and he seems like he is agreeing on everything I had to say. It got so boring, I was so glad the date was over. I know Kim is a nice guy and all, but he's just not the guy for me, you know? Uh, that's true. Especially when you're a superhero saving Paris. It's not easy. Hmm, if there was one person you could tell your secret identity to, who would it be? Honestly, Nathaniel. But I don't want to put anyone I care about in danger. And what happens if he knows I'm a superhero? What will happen then? Will it change anything? Will he be happy on days where I disappear and save the world? It's easier for you and Adrian to work it out because you're both superheroes. I just don't know what to do anymore. What if we gave him Hawkmoth's Miraculous? Nathaniel enjoys creating superheroes, so maybe he and Nuru would be a perfect fit. Think about it. Before Nuru fell into the wrong hands, his power was to make anyone a superhero. But instead, Hogmoth chose to create super villains. I'm sure if both of you are superheroes, then both of you will understand one another better. I... I guess... Hey Kim, how did the date go? Man, it blows. I tried to agree with everything she said, but she looked as if she was about to fall asleep on me, man. It's not cool. I tried to connect with her in every subject she likes, but she still doesn't seem to feel anything towards me. What's so great about Nathaniel anyway? Kim, sometimes things just don't work out the way we want them to. Maybe it's not meant to be. You have to let her go and move on for the best. Look, kid, all you gotta say is Plag, claws out! And then... Yeah, cool. I got it. I'll just say cat prism power! Kid, kid, no. Just, no. Wait. You're one of those anime-loving nerds, aren't you? Alright! Cat prism power, transform me! Wait, I wouldn't do that. Don't do it! Yes, Black! Finally! I'm a magical girl! I'm a real-life Maho Shoujo magical girl! Yes! Dude, you're not supposed to look like that. Oh, snap. That guy is gonna come after you now. Kid, you watch way too much anime. Adrian, let's go grab some dinner. Son, is there something you're not telling me? Have I failed as a father that my son is that deeply in love with anime? Um, no comment. The guy Plaque was mentioning earlier was me, Kube. I'm coming for you, Adrian. Your grief sea will give me life. Since Adrian decided to be a magical girl, I can now offer him a contract with me. Okay, Chloe, if we get caught, make sure to bail me out so my father doesn't know. Wait, what? What if I get in trouble? You won't! Just follow my lead, and everything will be okay. <laughs> oh snap, run! That boy seriously needs a shrink. Alright, girls. Uh, I mean, you too, Kenwar. Sorry, you're kind of the only boy. Hey, what of it? We're all superheroes. 
Yeah, but us three are like a trio. Kind of like the Powerpuff Girls, but so much better. <sighs> okay, fine. Does Hawk Moth count? What about Mr. Fu? Well, one of them is a villain, and the other one is kind of retired. Why can't there be another male superhero? Why? Mr. Fu! Just pass on your miraculous to Nino! Uh, Adrian! I... I love you! I've always loved you! Sorry, Marinette. But I have someone I love already. Uh, uh, oh, uh, it's okay. I think I forgot something, so I better go. M Marinette! Oh, poor sweet young love. What's more sweet than heartbreak? Go, my little Akuma, and ease her pain. <laughs> Plague, do you think I was too honest with her? Well, well, if it isn't the boy that broke my heart, Adrian Agrest. <laughs> oh, Adrian, didn't your mom ever teach you anything? Breaking a girl's heart is the most cruelest thing you can do. Simply a sin. <laughs> oh, and another thing, Ladybug won't be coming anytime soon. Your hopes of that can die along with my heart. Cat Noir can't save you either. <laughs> Sorry, Devil Bug, but Ladybug and Cat Noir aren't the only heroes in town. I'll be saving the damsel in distress. Ciao. No! He is my prey! Back off, you slimy... Oh my god, that's a giant spinning top! It's magic! Duh! This isn't over. Not by a long shot. <sighs> yes, Hawkmoth? Devilbug, what are you doing? I told you to get Ladybug and Cat Noir's Miraculous. I didn't say you could harm the aggressed boy. What of it? What does he mean to you? Why should you care? That is none of your concern. You have disobeyed me. You will be punished for your arrogance. Now, go get me the miraculous, you pesky girl! Sorry, Hogmoth, but joke's on you. I'm going rogue. I don't have to answer to you anymore. What did you say? I gave you power! I can so easily take it away. Without me, you are nothing! <laughs> nothing, you say? Coming from a supervillain that is so lazy to even do his own dirty work and has to rely on other people? Aren't you at least a bit embarrassed? I mean, you are literally useless. Your so-called power is to give other people power, and you just boss them around. <laughs> Hardly call that a supervillain. Silence, you pest! I will destroy you and take the Miraculouses and rule this wretched world. Oh, I see. So you need the other Miraculouses because you yourself are completely and utterly useless and powerless. Am I correct? Don't you dare interfere with my revenge on Adrian. Goodbye, Hakma. No! How can this be? Why is she the only one to resist me? Adrian, I have to save him. <laughs> Things just got very, very interesting. Adrian, what did you do this time? Is Devilbug Marinette? Y yeah. I would have never thought she'd be akumatized because I didn't feel that way about her. Hmm. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now, except try and de-evilize her. I haven't seen Ladybug around. She usually jumps in way before any of us, and Cat Noir seems to be missing too. Well, well, I guess I found my little heartbreaker in the thief. 
Now be good and let me pulverize you into the dust. <laughs> Crap! Adrian, run! Now! I, I can't just leave you here with Devil Bug! I said run! Get out of here and find Ladybug! P Plague, what should I do? <laughs> Help, Plague! Marinette got akumatized! Oh crap, I forgot Adrian is here. Cat's out of the bag, Tiki. What happened exactly? Well, it happened when Marinette came back home and she was crying her eyes out. And suddenly one of Hakma's Akuma just, just akumatized her. Wait, wait. If Marinette has a Kiwami, does that mean... She's Ladybug. Uh. <laughs> we can't de-evilize her if she's Ladybug. Oh, snap. You're doomed, kid. My, my. Looks like the bee is no match for me. And, oh, poor little fox tried to come to the rescue. <laughs> Too bad, so sad. Wow, you're all pretty useless without Ladybug, aren't you? Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. <laughs> How can Marinette be akumatized if she's Ladybug? Uh, because she is wearing her Miraculous. I don't sense that she's under the control of Hawk Moth anymore. I'm guessing it's because she has her Miraculous that gives her somewhat more control over her actions. But can he stop her? I mean, he punished all of his supervillains for disobeying him before. Why not now? Again, she has her own agenda thanks to being a Miraculous holder. Plague. What should I do? Devil Bug is Ladybug. There's got to be a way to de-evilize her somehow without hurting her. But how? Kid, you got yourself into a huge mess. All I can say is you better reap what you sow. You're really no help, aren't you? Jeez. Well, I can't do anything as Adrian. But as Cat Noir, at least I have a chance. A fighting chance. All right, Plague. Claws out! <laughs> First my revenge against Adrian, then my revenge on everyone who has wronged me. <laughs> Sorry, milady, but playtime is over. I will not let you harm anyone. Not anymore. This stops right here. Ooh, Cat Noir. Yes, yes. You'll be my next victim. Your overly annoying flirtatious attempts makes me sick. Actually... All of Paris is sick of you. Devil bug. No. Ladybug! I know it's you. I know your identity. Please snap out of it! So what? You know my identity? Because after today, Paris will be under my control. The thing is... I... I'm Adrian. Say what? Curses. What have I done? I didn't know that girl was actually Ladybug. The power of the Miraculous is stronger than I thought. She has the power to rebel against me. This is not going in my favor at all. Now my son is at risk. Nuru! Give me your power! I must stop Devilbug at once! I lost my wife. I cannot afford to lose my son. He is all I have left from this wretched world. Dark Wings out! This changes nothing. You only crawled back to me because you found out I was Ladybug. You didn't care about me before you knew that. This changes nothing. I hate you, Adrian Agrest. You don't really care about me for me. If you can't accept me at my worst, what makes you think you can accept me at my best? And right now, I am at my very best. My truest self. I am sick and tired of being a goody two-shoes, hoping the boy I loved would even notice me. I will end this wretched world and save everyone from heartbreak. Yes, yes, that's it. I will save everyone from despair. That's not true. It all makes sense to me now. I still love you even if you're at your worst. I... I'm sorry I didn't realize it sooner. Oops, too late. Now, bye-bye, little kitty. 
<laughs> Stop, devil bug. I demand you step away from the aggressed boy. This charade has gone on long enough. Now give me your miraculous, and all shall be well. Deal? Ugh, not you again, old man. I grow tired of your interruptions. How about I destroy both you and Cat Noir? So you knew Cat Noir was Adrian Negrest all along. How sweet. But you wanted me to take his Miraculous anyway, am I right? I said, take his Miraculous, not his life, you delusional little girl. And you got surprised that I, Marinette Dupin Chang, was Ladybug? <laughs> this is delicious. This is too good. But alas, both of you are in my way of cleansing this city of love when in reality, this is just a city of sin. Now, say bye-bye, little... Mm. I love you. Always and forever. What's happening? Where am I? This is your subconscious, Marinette. It's nice to meet you. Uh, how did this happen? Cat Noir... No, Adrian kissed you. And right now, you have awoken and it's up to you to fight the darkness that is within you. No one can do this but you, Marinette. His kiss may have awoken you, but you yourself must be strong and fight. Not as Ladybug, but as yourself, Marinette, in order to break free from this Akuma. But he doesn't love me for me. He loves you, Ladybug. It's not the same. He didn't love or notice me as Marinette, the true me. I'm nothing without Ladybug. No matter what happens, at the end of the day, Ladybug and Marinette are the same people. Inside and out, your heart and courage has always been you. Ladybug just made you realize what you could be and have become. I am you. Uh, no! W what's happening? Uh! Now's my chance! The miraculous shall be mine! Get away from me! Ha! No, 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 no! What happened? Cat Noir? No. Adrian? Oh, Marinette! <sighs> Thank God you're okay. Hawkmoth is gone now. And you're okay? Wait, Hawkmoth? Where is he? He fell over and... <sighs>